I'm Amy Dallin, as you probably know because you are watching my YouTube channel right now. But I am once again joined by an amazing special guest. Hi, I'm DJ Wildridge. What do you do, DJ? I do many things. Uh, most prevalent place you can probably find me is on Fridoverse where I write and direct and edit um, some short films and some other content that deals with the darker side of reality. I can also be found here at the House of Secrets on a pretty regular basis reading <laughs> comic books. I also edit for Source Fed Nerd. Very if cool. If you've heard of them on the internet. You may have been on the internets before, unless this is your first time, in yeah. which case, welcome! And be careful what you Google. Tell us a little about Fridoverse. I can tell you a little bit about Fridoverse. Like I said, it's a little bit about the darker side of reality. Uh, we kind of skew towards horror, but it's not just horror. We have a crime thriller short on there that we're really proud of. Uh, we have a show with Trisha Hirschberger called Dirty Little Secrets that you guessed it on recently, talking about the darker side of comics. It was super fun, everyone go check that out. We also have a show where people talk about like their scariest nightmares or the animals that scare them the most, stuff like that. And I hear you have something coming up that viewers of this channel might be especially interested in. <laughs> we have made an Animal Man short film. Uh, that you can actually, a fan film? A fan film that you can uh, visit right here. You click on Animal Man. And uh, we've been working on it pretty diligently. We're really excited about it. Uh, Animal Man is not your typical superhero, and this is not your typical fan film. But Animal Man, of course, is very exciting, including this run by Grant Morrison, which I really, yeah. really need to read, and the more recent run by Jeff Lemire, which is super fun, oh my god! I wanted to have dabble in somebody else's universe a little bit, and people have been doing fan films, so I was trying to think of a character that would fit what we were trying to do, and Animal Man was perfect for us. For those who do not know who Animal Man is because he's a more obscure character. He, but Rad! He's so cool! He was created in the 60s uh, when things were very weird in comics when where you could have a guy that had uh, the powers of animals without any of the attributes of animals. Like he could fly like a bird without wings. Because 60s. Exactly. He only was ran for a couple issues and then he vanished. But then in the late 80s, uh, DC, I guess primarily DC, started bringing in young uh, mostly British uh, creators. Like literally importing them. Yeah, to, to work on the projects. Like Alan Moore was working on Swamp Thing. Neil Gaiman was working on Sandman. And they brought in a young guy named Graham Morrison to work on Animal Man. And it was supposed to be like a four-issue thing. And he kind of made it about animal rights. And then it was hugely popular, so it kept going. And Grant Morrison, Green Grant Morrison, now in hindsight, we know the type of creator he is, he took it into some really uh, arcane, interesting directions um, that I don't, I mean, it's... Some what, of those stories have become pretty legendary. Yeah, exactly. And it's 30 years old, but I kind of want you to, if you if you can't experience it, you can uh, buy this. This is the omnibus of his entire run. And, uh, and it goes some really interesting, trippy directions. And uh, I found it very inspiring. And then he went back into obscurity. Until recently, with DC's New 52 re relaunch, one of the, uh, some of the gold that came out of that was Jeff Lemire's run on Animal Man. It's a good way to put it. Some of the best stuff that happened was they brought back a new version of Swamp Thing and Animal, and, and Man, Animal Man in DCU with fantastic creators. Exactly. They brought in some really solid uh, creators in on that. And uh, Jeff Lemire's run on Animal Man has been great. And and the, uh, the tone is pretty different, but some of the things that they kept were his Family Man persona and some of the darker kind of horror-like elements, which as Fridoverse, that's kind of what attracted us to the character. He's he's the man with animal powers, but he becomes a lot more than that when the right creators get a hold of him. And so we wanted to try and capture some of that with the short. So I highly recommend Animal Man by Grant Morrison, Animal Man by Jeff Lemire. Check out those runs. You will not regret it. So everyone should definitely go check out that uh Unauthorized, but made with a great deal of love. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it's unofficial. It's, it's a fan film. We're not making any money off of it. It's not per for profit. It's just made by fans for fans, but with a lot of love to DC Comics and Carmine Infantino and Dave Wood and the, the creators that inspired it, Jeff Lemire, Grant Morrison. I totally love the beginning of Jeff Lemire's run when he does that fake interview from The Believer. Yeah, that actually... That was so rad. I, when I was talking to the actors, uh, that I sent them that. How did you get into comics? I think I got into comics, we, I think we touched on this briefly when you were in Dirty Little Secrets. Uh, when I was younger um, and my sister was born, my dad and I started co collecting non-sports trading cards, and uh, which in the 90s met superheroes. Mm -hmm. um, and so like- Advice get, I believe we shared. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, and on the back you'd read their origins and the art was great. Like nowadays, usually it's they just take a picture from a comic and just throw it on a card. But like back then they had artists that actually did something specific for the card. And it was really fascinating. I think that got me into the world of characters. Uh, and so I think that was my gateway drug into comic books. And what's on your pull list these days? Uh, you know what's been kind of dominating it 
um, is Image and their indie books have been killing it. I've been picking up Saga. Uh, Rick Remender is one of my favorite writers ever. So Deadly Class and Black Science are must buys. Um, I just got into Stray Bullets with Killers, ah. which is great. Uh, Southern Bastards is really solid. I'm a, I'm a I love my superheroes. I'm a DC fanboy till I die, and I and I enjoy a lot of those books. But it, I've noticed more and more of my pulse has been eaten up by Image Comics. Is there anything else you want people to know or to go check out? No, definitely just check out Animal Man. Share it with your friends. Let's see how far we can spread that fan film and spread the love to a character that's not probably going to get a lot of attention otherwise. One of the things that attracted me to the character is he's not one that has a big budget blockbuster around the corner. And so I figured it was a chance to give some love to a character that otherwise isn't going to get uh, love from Hollywood for a while, probably. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. I love what you're doing. I love all the shows that you have, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. Oh, geez. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe to the channel, go check out Fridayverse and all DJ's good stuff, and tune back in next time for whatever it is that's coming next. <laughs> It'll be exciting. It's worth watching. Aw, he has no idea.